All right, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video of As Always Aaliyah, where we always keep it real. I am so excited for today because I'm going to be styling my hair for a photo shoot. And y'all, we're going to be doing something that I have not done in a very long time, and that is the wet look. Okay, so my hair is actually freshly washed. I just got out of the shower, so it's nice and soft. It's a little bit damp, but since it's out, it is starting to dry up. We are going to be using just two products for the wet look today, y'all. So my outfit is pink, and my hair will be in the wet look. And I'm going for, like, really bossed up. Like, that's, like, what I'm trying to do today. So I have, like, a pink suit, y'all. And it's going to be really cute, and all my hair is going to be towards the back. So I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and get started with this wet look. I'm going to show y'all how I'm doing it for our products that we're going to be using today we're going to be using two different gels and i'm pairing these gels because i paired them in the past and they worked well together so hopefully they work well again <laughs> we're going to go in with the wet line styling gel and then i'm going to follow up with the main choice biotin infused styling gel and so these are the two products that we're going to be using today y'all all right, so right now it is 8.03 and I have to be out of the house by 10.30 and we are meeting right outside of New York at Liberty State Park today. So I'm really excited. It's going to be about an hour and a half drive. So about 10.30 I have to leave the house and right now it is 8 o'clock. So let's go ahead and get started. I do want to just kind of start to get my hair going back in the motion because everything is going to be going back. My hair is facing all back and what I want to do is since it's a lot I'm just gonna kind of separate it in the front Alrighty, so I part it from ear to ear. It does not have to be perfect I just want to work in sections So all of this is going to be lifted up and out the way and we'll get to that in one second Keep forgetting I have a lot of hair now <laughs> Okay, and then I'm just going to continue to break it down. I want a line in the back so you can see we're continuing just to break these sections down and that will be the first section that I apply the gel to. These claw clamps are the best when it comes to having thick hair because it can just hold a lot more hair in there than like a regular clip. So I really like it. Let's go in with the biotin and view styling gel first and then we'll put the extreme wet line on top because that's just what my heart is telling me to do. It smells really good. Oh, it smells good. It smells good. So we're going to take some and I'm only using gel. I have a leave-in in my hair from the shower, so we should be good to go. And all I'm going to do is just start to apply that gel onto my hair. All in there. And it's really easy to run my fingers through it because I detangled already in the shower. Can y'all see with this shirt on? I'm going to change my shirt because I don't think y'all can like really see my hair. Hold on. All right, y'all. I'm back. My bad. I wanted to change my shirt so you guys can see a little bit better. It is already starting to get uh, curly as you guys can see right here. The curls are already starting to come through versus this side. that I didn't even put anything on yet so that's really good. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more and then we're gonna go ahead and just apply the wet line on top and do the other side I hope this comes out right y'all. I really do and I'm gonna go ahead and put oh my hands are slippery girl My hands is slippery Alrighty, I usually don't use extreme wet line, but uh, we gonna use it today All right, you see how like straight that got my hair I don't think I'm supposed to brush it because brushing is gonna create definition and I think we're just going for like a straight, more like a straight look today. Like everything should be looking like it's water. Nice and straight. And let's do the other side. All right. So we're going back in with the biotin infused styling gel. And y'all, while I'm styling my hair, I definitely want to share like just my thoughts and like kind of what's been going on. If you guys don't know, I actually launched a website. Yay. I talked about it all in my last video. So if you want to hear more on it you can click the video up here um and i'll have it at the end of this video and in the description below as well for you guys but pretty much on my website you can find a lot of resources that pertain to heatless hairstyles using rods and rollers 
there's just different things that you can purchase or download. Uh, if you want to book a call with me, you can definitely do so. So if you're somebody who is struggling with your curls and just want to try different hairstyles but don't know how, definitely click the link in my, I was going to say click the link in my bio. I'll have the link in the description below and you guys can check out my website to see if there's anything on there that might be a good fit for you. If you want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one, or if you want to book a training session with me or if you just want to download my email book there's a lot of resources on my website for you guys but however with that being said I had a really strong passion for rods and rollers but I have to make sure that's also with my um my audience wants to so just like listening to you guys listening to the audience response I hope I'm doing this right I'm just like raking it through because I know I'm not supposed to brush it it looks really good and as we continue to go, we'll just keep like molding it into the wet look. All right, so let me take down my next row as we continue to go. But like I was saying, I really like to listen to my audience and audience feedback. It's been, it's coming up on a month now since I launched my website. And I know that I'm really passionate about rods and rollers because that helped save my hair from heat damage, pretty much using rods and rollers to blend my new growth and my damage, end, my damage ends together. And I could create a beautiful hairstyle so I just like showing people how to do that however I just want to make sure that I'm listening to my audience and listening to customer feedback and really seeing what it is that you guys need and want and I just really didn't want to release another ebook or anything that just pertained to like hair growth or how to take care of your hair because I thought we were past that it seems like we're not based off of like the customer response I'm getting and just the DMs I'm getting it seems like people really just want to know like how do I pre prevent my hair from being dry how do I keep my hair moisturized all week long like things like that and I really want to listen to my audience so I think in my next round of things that I start to release I think I'm going to gear it more towards just like the basics of natural hair care and I really did not want to start there because I just thought that like that was really oversaturated I thought that like a lot of people were talking about it and like selling products around the basics of natural hair care how to prevent your hair from becoming dry um how to style your hair like things like that so i don't know i think i'm just my next round of things that i start to release i think i'm going to be more focused on just the basics of natural hair care and see if that helps more people because even though people love learning about rods and rollers and I get a lot of excitement on it some people can't use rods and rollers in their hair and I just want to have something on my page for everyone so that's what I've been thinking lately is just I'm going to continue to work with my rods and rollers stuff but as time prolongs the next round of stuff that I release I'm definitely going to try to just focus on more natural hair care or um beginner friendly hair care advice because it seems like people need that you know so that's what i'm gonna do okay so we're just continuing it's going really well by the way do y'all see the difference like oh my goodness what a gel can do honey all right so i'm just finishing up with this little section right here and i'll turn around so you guys can see how it looks so far but i only did two rows and i'm not trying to like apply too much gel and this is kind of what we're looking like so far this is what we're looking like y'all so we're going for the wet look we are going for the wet look and i don't know how that looks but hopefully it looks like something mm -mm -mm. i'm really excited for this photo shoot i'm going to be meeting up with a few curl friends some i've met before some i haven't only talked to online so we'll get to meet and greet everybody today Alrighty, righty all right y'all so let me keep working on this back section and i'll come back once we get to the front All right, y'all, so I keep turning around so you guys can see how it looks. And we're just gonna continue to work on the front. It's a lot easier for me to just part my hair down the middle really quickly. And then I can take a section right here and put that to the back. And then I can go in in a section right here. And then the rest of it is gonna go up. You know, the front doesn't curl as well as the back. So I am interested to see how this is going to play out. 
all right so here's the next little section right here just taking it little by little and i split it into two so i can focus on one half at a time i first like to go in with the biotin and I, I think it's more moisturizing biotin's really good for you and i'm just going in making sure to get that product all in my hair i'm gonna go ahead and use the prayer hands and i can do a little bit of raking and then i'm also going to apply the wet line just a little bit just like a little dab because the uh, main choice does most of the work i think that the wet line's just gonna like shock it into place so and then i'm just gonna take it back and like rake it towards the back and then after i rake it towards the back i like to smooth it down with the rest of my hair just smoothing everything down all right now we can do the other side so first up is the biotin from the main choice start to throw that in there i love the scent of the biotin too the wet line doesn't have a scent and then we're gonna go in just with a little dab of that wet line and then i just do a little finger raking to the back and a little bit of smoothing it all in together i think this would look really cute as a bob too but our hair is long so we ain't doing a bob today all righty so let me just keep going so we are making really good progress we are at the front i have this little section and like one more section to do and then we should be done i know i said i was gonna sit under a dryer to let this hairstyle dry but i just really like how it looks like wet so <laughs> you know it's the wet looks so all I'm going to do is put a scarf on until it's time to go to the photo shoot and take our photos. But I don't know. I don't want to dry it. I just really like how it looks wet. So we're going to see if we can keep this kind of look throughout the day. We'll see. We'll see what's what. But y'all see what I'm doing? Just raking it through, pushing it back, baby, pushing all of the hair back. And we're gonna lay our edges. We're gonna look really cute today, y'all. Okay, all right. So here's our last section, I think it should be. Now see what we're dealing with. That's the hair. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and break it down in half. And I'll just go ahead and apply some biotin gel to this half first. Stuff is like a magic worker, y'all. And I just really take my time massaging it into my hair, especially now that we're at the front front. Okay. All right. So now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of that wet line, just a little dab right there. Let's see. There we go. And then I'm starting to work it back. I'm just raking my fingers and working that product back like a low ponytail think of it like that mm -hmm. yes ma'am there we go brushing it back with my hands everything's going back I can like feel it. it feels weird can you hear it i really want to put bobby pins yeah it's gonna be a lot better when i lay my edges <laughs> we're gonna do that right now So I'm going to be using the got to be glue to lay my edges. And this is also from the Dove Care line. They sent me a PR package and they have like a baby tress little edge brush in here. So let's go ahead and try this. Cute. It says baby tress on here. This is so cute. Like what edge control brush do you know that looks like this? Like this is really cool. I have no idea how to open it. Oh, got it. <laughs> get it friends so here is the brush that is so cute we're here for it so let's go ahead and start laying our edges first thing i'm gonna do is just start bringing them down and there's already gel in there oh girl this is gonna look good y'all all right so i'm back and i just finished laying my edges this edge control brush is the truth y'all so if i can find it online i will link it below but dove did send it to me and it's called baby tress oh i really like it i didn't use this side but i did use the brush side and did a really good job i love my edges i love the look everything's going back it's exactly what i wanted i was gonna bobby pin it like right here but i think it's okay what i am gonna do is put a scarf on all right y'all so i'm back just one last look while it's getting dry back there so excited everything's going to the back it's exactly what we wanted it to look like what i'm gonna do is take this scarf and we're just gonna put it on our head and let it dry all right so i'm just gonna put it on just like a bandana
And then I'm also going to put a ponytail holder on it. Okay, y'all, so I finally have my hair set. I put two little ponytails back there so it can just kind of stay clumped together while it's setting. And this is it. I'm going to go ahead, put my makeup on, get dressed. It is 9.09. .09. I need to be out of here by 10.30. So I'm good on time. And I'm just going to take this next hour to kind of just relax and start getting ready. And I will come back on here to show you guys the final look. But as I am driving up to New York, I am going to put my scarf back on. But I'll take it off to show you guys how it looks once I am fully dressed. So if you guys did like this video, if you like learning a little bit more about the wet look and how it's supposed to look or my version of the wet look then please go ahead and subscribe my name is Aaliyah and I do heatless hairstyles just like these so if you are interested in stuff like that make sure you guys give me a follow and also don't forget to click the link below in the description if you do want to access my website and just see what resources are on there that's available to you all right y'all I'll be back y'all okay, I gotta go but I do want to show you guys my outfit so I tried to back up as far as I can pretty in pink it's actually a little bit too big for me but we're gonna make it work it's like it's okay we're gonna make this work and I got this off of I think Fashion Nova so I will have it linked it's actually really cute okay it's giving I'm a boss I'm a boss period all right so let's go ahead and get into this makeup finish my makeup friend I never do makeup it just takes too long and I feel like I don't need it but it's a photo shoot so we're gonna put it on today we have the earrings these were like <laughs> two three dollars from I think Sheen all right but let's get into this hair so I'm gonna take out these ponytails holders because it was kind of holding it all together in there and then I'm gonna take this off and my shoes are pink too by the way y'all oh ooh. yes yes <laughs> so if i want to i can bring it to the front mm. hold on this is cute and it's still wet and that's what i kind of want it it's not dry at all if you guys want i'll come back on here later tonight after the photo shoot and just show you how my hair held up and show you how it looks dry because it is still wet i am going to put on the um scarf as i'm driving to new york if you guys want to see the back how it's looking but y'all i do have to go girl look at cute i'm here for it all right but i do have to go now i need to get out of here it's 10 35 i was supposed to leave five minutes ago i'm gonna be late if i don't leave right now so thank you guys so much for tuning in i will be back tonight to show you guys how my hair held up throughout the photo shoot and make sure you guys stay tuned on my tiktok if you want to see some behind the scenes of the photo shoot as well all right y'all bye hey y'all so it is so late y'all it's 10 45 at night i think i left out of here at like what 10 45 10 30 so um it's been a full 12 hours makeup is just it's still on it's makeup and if you guys want to know what i use even though this isn't a makeup channel i do like the james charles palette that's what i use makeup is makeup in but let's get into this hair friend so it did dry i left the house with a scarf on and it was wet and now when i came back it is fully dry and i think it looks really 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 cute um i'm not going to be on here for too long i just wanted to show you guys like omg let's get into these curls oh my goodness like y'all Somehow this turned into like a wash and go, but I like that it's like flat up here still. So I don't know. You can even like pull it back in a little pony. Like this is really, really, really cute. So it was a success. The photo shoot went really well and I had an amazing day. I drove all the way up to New York or just right outside of New York and back home. So it was very eventful, very long and I'm tired. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys follow me at as always Aaliyah on TikTok, YouTube and Instagram y'all. And I'm out of here. My name is Aaliyah. This is as always Aaliyah where we always keep it real. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.